Hello everyone, welcome back to a daily run. I've not done too well recently. Uh, I feel like I've not been too well again. I know <laughs> it's not been too long, and let's just keep using the word too. Oof, that was close. Since I was complaining about not being well and having a sore throat, but I have another sore throat. Uh, so once again, I'm not feeling on top of the world. Yesterday I ate shit immediately, and I was like, fuck this, and didn't even bother uploading the video. More recently, I've not really been playing the dailies, and when I have, they've been bad, and I've not been feeling good about videos that I've made, so even when they are actual, you know, viable runs, I just feel like I've been talking mostly shit and not being very interesting, and the runs not been very good, so I've not been uploading too many, and I feel like the Darkest Dungeon series has been so much more valuable uh, from all those perspectives that uh, I'm much better off having put the time into those videos than, than into the, oh you fucking dick, than into the uh, Isaac videos. But we're here for another one and we've already got through most of the first floor, although Larry Jr. has successfully cornered me, which is a rarity, but he's about to fucking do it again. We picked up Loki's horns from our first item room, which is not very good, I have to be honest. It's not, um, it's something that can be good if you get the right synergies with it. Uh, anything that uh, I think rubber cement is actually now I think about it a really good synergy in this situation because uh, those extra shots that come out of you are, are completely random intervals, so it's not like you can rely on them. We'll bounce off the walls and do you know various stuff in order to uh, assist. I'll come into this cursed room, possibly, um, possibly not the greatest idea. It turned out to be a great idea. I wouldn't have done it had I not got this spirit heart in the boss room. And I'm not going to look for the secret room here because I don't care to. I'm kind of glad we did go to the curse room. It's a little bit of extra uh, exploration bonus. And it was it turned out to be worthwhile. I'm not going to go to this one just yet. We do have a judgment card, which could be a demon judgment. So if at the end of all this, and we still have... If, when we've been to our boss and we've had our deal with the devil, we still have red HP left and we want to get into that boss trap room, which I think we probably do. If this thing can stop fucking spawning spiders and let me get to it, that would be absolutely splendid. Um, then we can use, we can hope that the judgment is a demon judgment and remove the rest of our red HP in that way. But for now, we have Nord Leaf, which is circumstantially good. It's very rare that you can use the fact that standing still causes you invincibility to not take damage because you have to see it coming from far enough away that you can stand still and, you know, still succeed. Ooh, we got our bomb back, which is kind of nice. I think I'm actually going to use it here. Um, it could be the secret room. I'm going to maybe hold off on that to check that... See if our secret room could be somewhere else. This is a, a bit of a difficult run to determine the positions of secret rooms, to be honest. We started as Kane, by the way. Thought I'd mention that. We start with a luck upgrade in the form of luck, Lucky Foot. Look E foot, not luck foot, as Northern Lion has trained everybody else to say. Um, and it starts us off also with the paperclip, which allows us to open all golden chests for free. This could be a secret room, even if it's not, it's a free uh, attempt. It doesn't cost us anything to try. Which is what free attempt means, I suppose. I didn't mean to patronise all my viewers with... Uh, <laughs> the assumption that they are not got sufficient of a grasp of the English language to understand the phrase a free attempt. I've gone off on one so long there that I nearly forgot how I started talking. A free attempt is where I began and then... Ooh, this is worthwhile though. This could give us some money from the pots, which it did. I'm gonna not fight the spiders if you don't mind. Well, it gave us money whether it was from the pots or from the chest. Kind of neither here nor there. It's pin fight. That's actually really nice because there's a lot of opportunity for the early second floor and first floor bosses, the earliest bosses, to be absolute bullshit like Ragman and the Haunt and all that sort of crap that we hate. Even then, I remember quite a long time ago, early on in the daily careers of us, we thought, um, oh, this is really good actually. We did fight the Headless Horseman on the very first floor. I think as Kane or maybe Judas. Oh, that's no good. 
I'm not going to play the judgment anyway. I'm not going to take the left hand either, so we'll just take both of these. And then we'll go back through the floor because... Oh, Locust Horn's... <laughs> okay, Locust Horn's mom's knife is also a pretty cool synergy. We can spin around like this just by mashing on the uh, keys. <laughs> pretty funny. But uh, also, these things will do contact damage. Absolutely will. We should go in here. We have 15 cents. Might as well take Pandora's box, to be honest with you. We don't have a spacebar item at all. So we can keep this for as long as we feel like we want to until it comes to the opportunity to actually uh, make use of it. So we should do this because of the, the value inherent therein. Ugh, nearly one shot pin, but not quite. Jesus Juice is a decent uh, item to go along with Mom's Knife, actually, because Mom's Knife does have a bit of a habit of having poor range. Oh, we won something. The stars. That's pretty cool. That can get us quite a long way through a room. Uh, a floor, I mean. And save us a key. Also, it can teleport us out of somewhere we don't want to be. So if we're going to leg it to Boss Rush... By the way, we're only going as far as Mom. Which is going to end very quickly. We're going to be there well in time for Boss Rush, I have to imagine. This curves, curves of the Lost? Caves of the Lost? Could uh, slow us down somewhat. But... I have to imagine it's not going to be to the greatest extent. Not like we would normally be slowed down by our own hubris and foolishness. I'm putting this on you, by the way. I'm not taking ex responsibility myself. Everything that happens on this is us. You and I are doing it. This is you and I play. You and I are making these mistakes. It's just the way it is. So deal with it. Take some responsibility for shared actions. Are you a wizard? Does that do anything? It does not. Very well. Uh, yeah, normally it's... <sighs> kind of don't want to go to the curse room yet. Oh, I'm not paying a key to get that either. Although, we can open the golden chest for free. So if you find another key, I will be absolutely willing. Do you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I've decided we're this far away from it. We might as well. Normally, we might have to slow down so much when... Ooh, we've got something. Got our key back. Trying to get to boss rush just because we're trying to min max each floor to get every single you know uh, point out of it as we possibly can, which inevitably loses us the four thousand points we get from boss rush, and then the six thousand points from hush as well, which isn't relevant on this this run, but it's normally relevant. That's very good, thank you. I'm hoping that Curse of the Lost here is not going to produce that much sort of delay in our progress, but also Mom's knife will sort of also make up for it to some great extent. I'm just going to take all the pills because I have no sense of control. I don't know what's good for me. I will just do everything. I think I'm getting better with Mom's knife as well. I hope you all agree. Uh, earlier on in these very videos, I would say, I'm not going to take Mom's knife because I don't know how to deal with it, and then I go, I'm going to take it anyway because you need to practice with it in order to get better at it. The airshot is not very good, but at least it's a passive item. Oh, we got the mom transformation as well, so I guess there's that. I didn't even know that could happen, but I didn't know it could happen intellectually. What I was meaning to say is that I wasn't currently aware that we were on target for the mom transformation, is what I mean. Goodness me, stop being so pedantic. Now that we've practiced with mom's knife, I feel like I'm actually quite competent with mom's knife, and so I've only actually taken one piece of damage on this entire floor. I would like to... I think I'm going to go into the shop even though we only have 13 cents because... Honestly, I will take this spirit... I will take this spirit heart because... I'm very scared. I did take half a heart of damage and we only had two to begin with, so... Not two halves, two hearts. So, um... I think just giving ourselves a little bit of extra protection against what could be quite a difficult boss. Um, I'm expecting maybe the stain. Something like that. Or something horrible like the gate. I'm not sure if that's a this floor boss or a next pair of floors boss, but it's still a pain in the arse. We have found our shop. We have found our item room. It is the stain, by the way. Called it. But it stood still for me, so I'm very, very happy with that. And thank you for the extra spirit heart. We will continue. That floor did not take long at all, despite being cursed with the lost. And I found the secret room, despite it being cursed with the lost. So it's actually really good. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, eat it, chub. Uh, this, this should be pretty quick as well. I find that Mom's Knife is actually often better against bosses than it is against um, rooms with normal enemies because 
The bosses is a the bosses. A boss is a large target that takes a lot of damage. You know, Mom's knife lingers over it for a time. You only have to hit one thing, or maybe two. You know, I think Gertie is probably the only one that's ever got more than two actual targets, unless it's spawning tiny little things. Whereas in this case, you have to fire once for each bloody thing. It doesn't actually help, do you see? They still die in the same amount of time, it's just you have to fire them more times. That was close. I think Bone is probably the hardest thing to beat with Mom's knife, because you have to... You have to try not to get hit by that bone, which is always a really good shot. And I will go into the curse room thinking we have a certain amount of spirit hearts available to that. Uh, it was completely broke even. Probably should have used the stars card to get out, now that I think about it. Minor misplay, not going to cause us too much of a headache in the long run. So what happened on yesterday's run? I didn't, I didn't show it, I didn't really record it, I basically deleted it. I died on the second room. Four. It was a, a puzzle room full of exploding barrels, and as soon as I died on it, I realised how dumb I'd been. I will take Steam Sale first, because I'm thinking maybe I'll get a bunch more coins out of golden chests, even though we could have taken Blue Map, and found ourselves, got ourselves that little bit of extra advantage in the in the terms of the secret rooms, which have got some uh, slightly higher exploration bonus associated therewith. Yeah, I, I completely whiffed on um, uh, a puzzle room full of explosions, and then I came back, did a practice, and immediately figured it out. By which time it was too late, I'd had a two minute run. Probably spent as long starting the run as I had um, <laughs> playing the run. So I didn't do yesterday's run. I did a lost run a bit earlier than that, but again, in that case, I didn't really feel like I'd actually said anything worth saying. <laughs> if that makes sense. I know. No jokes, please. Oh, fuck. That was our AWAS room. You absolute dildo. See, I'm too busy talking and not busy thinking. I'd lost sight of the fact that what I really need to be doing at this stage is finding the thing that gets us past the mom fight. Temperance is not it. Shit, shit, shit. Please blow up the temperance card. We've got mom's knife brimstone if we want it. I guess we should. I think we have enough HP for it. I don't really like it. So I'm just going to take neither of these. Oh, that was dumb. Get rid of that. That wasn't dumb. <laughs> There's our extra two. Okay. It was slightly dumb because we didn't need the two cents. We haven't been to our item room yet. We should definitely do that. Oh, dear. Um, I feel a bit stupid about that because that is the seam which I had completely forgotten to think about because we're only going as far as Mum. We want to get past that fight. We want to do the next floor. Which we could have done with Awas. <laughs> Hopefully the game will be merciful and um, allow me to find another one, basically. That's really the only option at this stage, so find another way down. We're not, um, we're not restricted in options in terms of ways down uh, in Isaac, but AWAS is probably the easiest way. I don't really want to spend the money on the shovel, which is going to be HP, if it shows up at all. My stitch is okay doesn't help us because we don't really want to be touching things in the first place. Which I'm sure many of you can uh, can relate to. Found a secret room, not much in it, but at least we got the exploration bonus for it. We'll go this way, we'll go down here. Do I care about the second secret room? Not really. It's a bit far away. That's the fucking shop, you dumbass. So, now it's a question of when do we use Pandora's box. Because normally you'd use it on the womb to get two extra items. I mean, we could use it here to get, I think, four spirit hearts, or maybe four spirit hearts is this next floor. Ah, maybe there's a teleport. We should definitely fully explore because there might be a self sacrifice room. We haven't got very much HP. And in fact, if I'd taken any of the deals with the devil, I probably would have then walked into the temperance card anyway. The blood bank, and then died. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't take either of them. And honestly, I didn't really want either of them, so... I mean, it worked out for the best. That's just bullshit. Go fuck yourself. There we go. Is it an easy, easy mode run as well, or normal mode? is isn't really an easy mode, I guess. What I'm gonna do is come in here, see if we get anything decent. Ooh. 
want to kill these in case they shoot me. <laughs> uh, the Hierophant will certainly help. The World Card will absolutely help. And then we're going to Stars out, because I don't want to take any more damage than I have to. I will take Tech 2. I think it will fire whilst I'm charging up laser, uh, charging up Mom's Knife. And otherwise have no discernible uh, negative effect. Is it, a is it a damage downgrade? It might be. But it's such long range, I'm actually happy with it. So is there anything in here we want? We do want to get an extra coin to maybe pick up that Spirit Heart. Not doing too well in terms of uh, consumables, really. So I'm going to imagine that obviously there was a way down to the next floor. Well, not the next floor, but the next next floor. That's bullshit. Uh, and there would have been possibly on that floor... Um, uh, self-sacrifice room. You can see there's no self-sacrifice room on this floor, although there is a mob trap room, so we should think about doing that. Yikes. Just shoot it with your laser. You don't need to be special. Try and kill it with your mom's knife. It's not that great. There we go. Ooh, that thing comes back to where its owner was, <laughs> where, its, where its daddy used to be. Who's your daddy, huh? Um, even though its actual original spawner is deed. There's some cash though. That's really helpful. So we can still buy that. Um, thank you. Oh, we can buy a lot of things now. I was going to say we can still buy that spirit heart, but we can actually buy uh, all the things in the world. It's very, very valuable. Any any golden chests that want to show up, I'd be very happy to assist them with their lockedness plight. Just not very good, to be honest. I hate these things though. Anything that jumps, especially anything that jumps on top of you, can just fuck off. These things are fine with Mom's knife. You see, more more like this, especially with Tech Two as well. Whilst we're charging up Mom's knife, we're shooting with Tech Two, and whilst we're Firing with Mom's Knife, or firing with Mom's Knife, but basically permanently doing damage. Where's the other one? Come on now. Don't hang around. Thought you could get me, did you? No, I'm savvy to your nonsense. There is a... I guess I can't reach it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we should do the extra couple of rooms. We're going so fast. Yep, that was worth doing, because it didn't cost us anything. Any time, or even any uh, HP, or even effort. So, more rooms like that as well. A couple of these, though. They do leave creep. And you know what I'm like with creep? as a bomb. That helps. You have six of them. I mean, it doesn't help that much, but it helps a, a non-negligible amount. We could probably stand to use uh, bombs in an offensive capacity if we feel that's a good idea. We've got another world card. Also. Actually, really good. I took a bit of a gamble on taking that. Um, But, yeah, I think that's very valuable for us because we can know how likely we are to reach um, boss trap as a result. I'm just going to uh, steamroll these with my laser, actually. And every now and then, Loki's horns is just firing four lasers for us, which is also pretty cool. I should have probably picked up that red HP, but who cares? Who cares wins? So we'll go in here. Yeah. Nope. Oh, well. You can't win them all. Hoping for maybe a guppy item or something... I don't really know what you can get from red chests that I was hoping for. Maybe a spirit heart? But we uh, we did the room, which is the important thing. Right, we have not as long as I'd like, so I'm probably not going to go to the effort of doing the entire floor. Since we know exactly where we're going, it's probably not worth the effort. But I'm, I guess we should explode skulls and stuff to see if we can find what we can get. Maybe we can get a, a teleport card so that when we finish boss rush, we can come out, try and find uh, a way down to the next floor. Ow! Good shot. Jolly good shot. Can't, uh, can't really be mad. I ain't even mad. We never used the stars card in the end, did we? This is bullshit as well. This game has only really given us, so far, Mom's Knife. I know it's given us Mom's Knife Brimstone. I really don't like Mom's Knife Brimstone. It kind of looks cool, but I find that because it's just a travelling array of, bomb of uh, knives, it's actually kind of difficult to hit stuff with. I was hoping to get maybe a couple more, a couple more uh, skulls per bomb, but this is not good on our bomb economy. There is a self-sacrifice room here, actually, so I'm looking for a teleport card. This is not it, you absolute dick. We will definitely try and find one. Um, it would be probably silly not to, I'm going to be honest. If we can get back out of Bosphorus and to this teleport room. But also, honestly, 
I feel like the teleport room is more important than boss rush. So, I think we have to prioritise it, to be honest. I'm not sure how we're going to do it, though. Like, Mom, Mom will not last long. That much is guaranteed. We have four knives that are basically floating around us at all times. The Empress is not what we want, though. It's really not what we want. Oh, I should buy the bomb. It gives us a, a few more... Well, it gives us a secret room for a start, which could contain an AWAS room, in which case we'll sort it, aren't we? Okay, there's a black heart. Once again, I have to mention... We're not going to get out of boss rush if we go in, so... I mean, what would you do? What would Jesus do? Just bombs. Just bombs. We really need to find this... Uh, teleport card. We have to have a teleport card at this stage. Where did I get that money from? Good question. Ah, uh, what do we do? We haven't got enough HP to make the to make the teleport room work. That's the problem. The the self sacrifice room. Ooh, this could be it. Cards. You what? We've got a fucking lucky foot. How are you not giving me all the shit I need? Fuck it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the sacrifice room to help with boss rush. I think we'll get more... There's way more potential points in the self-sacrifice room than there ever will be in boss rush. Also, we're very unlikely to get to boss rush. And this is, of course, where I immediately find the teleport card that we need, but never mind. Um, we did have a teleport card, but I didn't bring it with me, thinking that the world card would be better because we knew where we were going, and therefore we could get to a boss rush. We may have enough HP. Especially if this actually gives us the uh, spirit heart payout. Although we should use this now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> should have used it on the previous floor. You know, I really thought that we'd probably be going down to the womb, but in fact we're going to completely skip the womb. Uh, and go down to Sheol if we can manage it at all. Okay. I mean, can you give me anything? I'm going to try. Apart from more ouchies. I'm not a fan of the ouchies. No. You cannot. So this bet gave me spirit hearts. It did not. In that case... <gasps> it did! It basically did exactly what we wanted it to do. Now we can do this. We can keep playing this because there's a lot of HP on the ground. Just don't get hit by this damn angel. His hitbox is so wonky. Extremely wonky. We do have the full key piece, but we can't unfortunately... Uh, oh, that's exactly what I wanted, thanks. We can't unfortunately fight Mega Satan because the door just doesn't exist. Um, on a daily run, which is a shame. I think this is a sort of run that could actually be Mega Satan worthy. Well, we'll see if we can get to Shoal, and if we can't, we'll just end the run, knowing that we did our level best. I guess that's all you can really ask, because that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> Obviously, the correct answer was, don't use the AWAS rune as soon as you fucking got it, because that was the exact thing you were looking for. In the future, remind me to talk about what I'm thinking about doing. I, I mentioned that we were going to Mom, but I didn't mention the fact that that meant we had to find a way down. Nor did I keep repeating to myself that that meant we had to find a way down, so... I mean, we could get black hearts out of these as well. This is our last couple of pieces of HP. We've already missed boss rush, we might as well min-max this and see if we can get that teleport. Although, once teleported, we're going to have to do really well in terms of uh, finding HP or not getting hit. Neither of which is very likely, because I'm playing. Oh, excellent. I guess. <laughs> I'm scared. Right, we cannot get hit at all. Curse of the Blind, though. Pick up his tail. Kind of okay at this stage, because we do still have the trinket that allows us to open all the chests. So we have to be very careful here. Just don't get hit. It's as simple as that. Shit, the bear. I hate this fucking attack. The, uh... The home ability of his shots is just awful. Items. Cricket's head. Damage up. Nice. 
That could at least prevent us from getting actually killed. Die. I was being sucked in. I don't know where to stand. Keep sucking in. Perfect. Thank you. Pick up his head. Little chest. What's in the box? Well, not getting hit is what's in the box. It's a box full of don't get hit. We can actually use um, Tech 2 to great effect here because it's really chewing through these spiders. Although, <laughs> as long as I hit them. Uh, I hate the way they spread out from Teratoma pieces because I really don't know where they're going. Oh, my heart is going like the clappers. Oh, he never did. Yeah, that's really helpful, thanks. Yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> There's no, no value in that whatsoever. So we are now in the dark room, which I honestly did not think was going to happen. Anything that gives me HP would be brilliant. Uh, that is obviously not one of those things. Did you see uh, Loki's Horn's tech two just kill that gurgling for me? Yeah, yeah, I did too. Oh, here's little Loki as well. So it's it's Loki Central. Oh Jesus! I don't know where these things are going to show up. And I don't know where Monstro is going to land. Oh help! What? What happened? There was a shot, and I don't know where it came from. Well, we came 234, so that must have been a great teleportation bonus. Something hit me, and I don't know what it was. <laughs> it's just that I died. Look, we could not have got hit once, and I did get hit once. You know, no HP dropped in all of that, and I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. We could have done boss rush. We could have gone to the womb, but I think, you know, if I kept the stars card instead of the world card, we might not have made it to boss rush in the first place. So I think I did the right thing for the way I play. Other people probably could have played that a lot better. In fact, 234 people probably did. Uh, but I think I did okay. I hope you think I did okay. And I hope you enjoyed it because I did. It was actually quite difficult. Uh, so thank you for joining me. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.